What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, in this video we're gonna be talking about the Kyosho, the 2021 Toyota Tundra. This is the platform we're using, this is the longer chassis of the Phaser MK2. Now, there, there is a shorter one, but as of right now in this video, we're just testing it out and we're using a different drive shaft to hopefully it won't bend. Uh, I know there's a Kenny Z that's out there and he has one, it's like 35 bucks right around there shipped, but I'm trying to get something that's less expensive, maybe I can still off the shelf set up. So here we go. We also replace the motor that's stock in here, which does about 25 miles an hour on a 2S LiPo. And we replace it with a new hobby wing system here. 4100 KV brushless motor. This is on generation three here. And then also as far as generation two on the electronic speed controller, now it's 80 amp replacing the 60 amp. And then also this would be a 4,000. Now the other one, this previous one had just a temp sensor going to the motor. And I used to add those in if people want to go ahead and go with more power. So I'd say, hey, you know, this comes bone stock, but here's a video showing you guys how much faster this thing is brushless. Now, what I've run into with this system is this drive shaft here, they bend pretty easily. So I was trying to find something else. And I was talking with my buddy who rocked 305. Uh, so I appreciate him also. And we were kind of going back and forth and I was like, hey, uh, I think I'm gonna try this Red Cat setup. So let's go ahead and just take a look at that. I'm gonna throw some videos in here of me testing this drive shaft out. You guys form your own opinion on what you think about it. So I'm just kind of sharing it, what I found, and maybe it's already been found before. But yeah, it's got a little bit of wiggle room as far as left and you know back and forth and then side to side a little bit. You could probably put something in there to kind of firm that up or whatever, but that is the way it is. I ran it on 2S, I ran it on 3S unloaded, meaning that I just had it off the ground, running it on 2S and 3S, and the drive shaft didn't bend. Now, with the car loaded, meaning it was running on the ground, it bent the drive shaft. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those videos right now. All right, so it did 39 miles an hour. Oh no, look at the drive shaft. 45 before it destroyed the drive shaft on this. <laughs> 3S testing Red Cat drive shaft. Take one. <laughs> All right, so I did 51 before I crashed there. All right, so now that you saw the car running on 2S, you saw how fast it goes, 30 miles, 39 miles an hour. Then it did about 51 miles an hour on 3S, but with the new drive shaft, but it did about 45 miles an hour before it gave up the drive shaft on 3S. And that, that was the first fail. So I was like, oh man, I gotta find something different. That's where I found, I was like, hey, I wonder if the, you know, I never really had any problems with the Red Cat drive shaft bending. I wonder if it'll fit in this Kyosho. So that's where I was talking to my buddy who rocks 305. I'm like, hey, have you ever tried that? And he's like, no, I got the Kenny Z one, Perfect. but it, it works and it held up. So I was pretty happy with it. Now, as far as the electronic speed controller goes, the motor goes, the chassis, well, it's, you know, it got scratched up and I apologize. There's probably a little bit of noise, three printers going right now, but yeah, uh, it did flip spun out a couple times me trying to get up to speed on 3s with the new system new drive shaft and i just couldn't get it bone stock so i know you can tweak it i could put some more weight in there i could uh, definitely adjust the uh, diffs front and rear to help with all that probably go somewhere else that had less debris any of that so that last 25 percent is where the vehicle would kick out and it kicked out before when i had this uh system in it before where it's a 4,000 kV setup and I had it kick out on me and I was like, man, so I had to kind of get into it a little bit less, but there was people around and I, you know, I was kind of not in a hurry, but I tried to attempt it a couple times and just wasn't successful. So probably had to go somewhere else, but I want to kind of share that with you guys. Like, Hey, maybe try this red cat one. The reason why I'm doing the video too, is that I want to give customers again, another option as far as a power performance, like on, let's say the 1957, Hey, we got this, you know, we got this power performing 
brushless system, I mean, make it go faster, all that good fun stuff, but I was always leery about the drive shaft. It's bent before, and I had a customer say, hey, yeah, my drive shaft bent, and I referred him to the Kenny Z um, drive shaft, which is still a good option, but I just trying to find something that was less expensive, so if I wanna give this as a customer an upgrade, this could be maybe another option. I'm still working on it, but I wanna kinda share this with you guys, so I wanna get your feedback on what maybe you found some other drive shafts or anything like that, and um, share with you when it comes to the other things that I found with this system. So this system here, you can program it as far as electronic speed controller through Bluetooth over the air. Uh, the Wi-Fi unit didn't work, but you can use the programming card. So pretty cool because you can take this programming card and you take your little instructions that come with it all in the box, and you can, It'll give you one through 12 on here once you plug into the electronic speed controller. You can look at all that instructions on where it gets plugged in at. There's a, there's a port for it all, plug it in. And it'll give you all of this information as far as in number form. So you just reference the number and uh, plug it in. So you can actually adjust your turbo timing. It was on zero. That's how I want to keep it bone stock straight out of the box. And um, I, know, I did notice that the motor did get pretty warm doing a few tests and just running it for about five minutes. So I would probably, we would need to do like a, a cooling fan on the motor and test this thing a lot more to run a battery down and see how hot this thing gets. So still more testing, developing on this setup. It is more expensive. It's about $130 for this system. I really liked the old system here because it was like under a hundred bucks. It was great, it worked well, and it was just something I could provide to you guys and customers on a nice power system. So stay tuned for more, but I definitely wanna share this with you guys. So um, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at OMGRC. We'll catch you real soon. Thank you again for watching. Later.